From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live at 3. Welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now is Sierra, and she's here to tell us about her new book. How are you doing today? Fabulous, and you look fabulous in your eye patch, sir. Yeah, so since I got the eye patch, you got to tell us about your upcoming book. Well, this is Pedro the Pirate. Pedro is actually a foster child who has just joined a family, and honestly, he's not having it. He would rather be the captain of his own ship, and he's going to discover that even when the waters get rough and you find treasure, you can't always do it alone, and he ends up accepting his crew, and it is just absolutely one of my favorite stories that I've ever got to tell. Yes, ma'am. And so who do you feel like would enjoy your, your story right here? I think that there's probably a little bit of Pedro in all of us in the fact that we don't always want to um, let people in and trust them. So honestly, I think this might be a story for all ages. However, I think um, definitely elementary age are going to just really enjoy this adventure. And I think the adults reading it with the pirate voice, perhaps a hook, I think they're going to really enjoy um, <laughs> his story. Yes, ma'am. And so why is Pedro's story so important? Well, there are hundreds and of foster children just here in East Texas alone. Um, and I don't think that uh, oftentimes people necessarily understand who they are, that they are just children. They're just like any child, but they're in a very scary situation. And oftentimes their behaviors don't always align with what we expect from just the average children and so I think understanding that foster children they're what they're going through and the ways that they relate to the world are going to be a little bit different and I think that is why this story is so important um, Pedro himself doesn't want to be a part of the family in the way that he kind of shows that is using his imagination to imagine that he himself is a pirate and that way um, he doesn't have to necessarily kind of um, relate to what's going on in the world around him. He can use his imagination to kind of separate from that. Yeah, he's going to get a little kind of escape right there. Yeah, yes, sure. ma'am. And so, you know, what are ways that people can help out with foster children? So one of the big things that you can do if you have the resources is definitely to donate to local agencies. Uh, one of my absolutes, to shout out to them, because we fostered through them, is the Fair, um, Arrow Family Ch and Child Services. Um, if you have a, um, an event, if you see events, you could definitely give money or used, gently used clothing, school items. Um, if you adopt Christmas tree angels, those are all ways that you can do that. However, if you were like, I would like to actually get to meet these children and spend time with these children, um, joining mentoring groups are great, as well as many fostering agencies. They have what's called respite care, which is short-term foster care, where you can um, babysit or you could keep them overnight for a couple nights. And that's kind of the fun way to be the fun aunt or fun uncle. So, wow. yeah. And you know, as a school librarian, what are ways you can help your child connect with reading? So picture books are obviously one of my absolute favorite things and I would highly encourage you even up till I know your fourth and fifth graders might be like oh I'm too old for that but then once you start reading especially with your pirate voice they're gonna be like yes but you know making reading fun um, like with younger kids playing I spy I spy the letter A do you spy the letter A and see if they can find it if you are reading with older kids you know you can get on like YouTube and find drawing videos like if it's your books about frogs and draw a frog with them or you can find videos with dancing and on that theme and just you know cut a rug and talk about your books and just make it a really great experience yes ma'am well miss sierra thank you so much for coming in and telling us all about pedro's thank book thank you yes. thank you for having me yes ma'am i got my eye patch oh, on you look fabulous. for more information you go to the website right here on your screen